Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jake Alba here with another TF2 video and today what I'm going to do is try and make a how to make your own config file style video being as straightforward and simple as possible. I've been trying to work out now for the last couple of months and for some competitive friends of mine how to make competitive uh, config files and it's a pain in the ass and nobody really goes into great detail in it so I thought I'd make a simple guide on how to make configs. And then I'm going to make a few follow-up videos on specific configs for specific classes. So, hopefully by the end of today you should know how to make a config, roughly. So go into your files. There, there's mine there, but I'll show you the full way. You're going to want to go into your PC, and then you're going to have to go to whichever drive you save all your Steam games in locally. For me, that is my C drive. For most people, it's probably going to be C drive. Then I'm going to go into Program Files x86. And then I need to go and find Steam, Steam apps. Remember the root is always up here with where you've been, so you can always go back if you get lost. Then you need common, find Team Fortress 2 in your locally stored games, go TF, and here you are. Now, I did a bit of research. I went and checked with a load of uh, my TF2 friends and some subscribers, and as far as I'm aware, everyone has uh, a CFG folder, as far as I can tell. There, I, I've heard that there's some people that don't have it for whatever reason. If that is the case, then just right-click new and make one. But as far as I'm aware, every single person should have one. Uh, and if not, I will make a solution for that. But go into this folder. And here you are. This is all your configs. Very, very simple. So first thing you're going to want to have to find out how to do is how to actually make a dot cfg file they're a different type of file and it's very simple uh first thing i'd probably do is go new and then make a text document and there you go new text document this you will not be keeping so it doesn't matter and then go file inside the text document and save as and when you're in save as say you want to make a custom config for the sniper i've not done one for the sniper yet so we'll go sniper then dot cfg very very important and then save as an all file, save. Close that, and then from here you can just delete this because you're not gonna need it unless you make it any other ones. Make sure you're actually deleting the file. And then if you look around, somewhere around here, somewhere, there we go. And it's just called Sniper, and it has been made into a CFG file. Very, very simple. So you can see I've got one for Spy, I've got one for Sniper. There's nothing in these yet because I've not made anything for these classes very very simple so one of the one configs that i do have right now is when i play medic when i press m2 it'll uh it will say in the team chat using uber obviously if i was to not have uber yet and i used that i'd probably throw my team off but that's how i have it set up so far so for my medic if i go to medic this is how it looks that's all it is for that now people will probably have you'll probably have things in mind that you're like oh well i only want i want to do this with my class i want to do that with my class that's fine but this is how it's very simple command it's bound mouse to attack to and say this and it's very important that you put this at the beginning of all your class specific config files otherwise this will happen across all your other classes this is what i've been trying to solve for like the last two days essentially on and off you need to put an exec reset and i'll show you why essentially when you make this folder assuming you don't have that you are telling tf2 okay bind this to this you're not telling it to reset when you're not playing the medic class so what you're actually also going to need is a folder called a reset so you do the exact same thing that you did earlier on you know you make you make a new folder called um reset.cfg and it'll make a cfg file and all you need to put in this folder is the opposite of whatever you're putting in here. So right now you can see I have bound my mouse two as attack two to essentially undo what my medic has. So when I'm not playing medic, attack two will will work without saying the the mouse stuff. Likewise, what I'm working on for my engineer right now is I have this. So um, bound mouse four and mouse five to Eureka effect and teleporter and F1, F2, F3, F4 to build and destroy buildings. However, if I was to want to use mouse 4 and mouse 5 for anything else, which I currently don't, I would have to go and essentially bind uh, M4 and M5 in that reset folder to be something else by stock. 
so that only when I'm playing Engineer does the Eureka effect have this effect. Very, very important to remember that. And uh, all of your stock stuff, this is this default, I don't have anything in it. But yeah, my config file, this is um, this is like where most of your config is stored. So like my engineer one's in there. And likewise, if you check, if you actually to check in here, look, F1, build, destroy. That's because I didn't set it up. But you can undo that just by going into the reset if you want to use, you know, F1, F2, F3, F4. Another example that I also have that uh, is one that I've set up that's very helpful Say I'm an engineer, so I have my first NG loadout as stock wrench, second is gunslinger, third is jag, and then fourth is usually something funnier or Eureka effect or something like that. So I have it so that F5, F6, F7, and F8 on my keyboard uh, change my loadouts. And that's not just for engineer, that's for all my classes. Likewise, you could have it just for one class if you want. So here I've changed it to so F5 is load in uh, item preset 0, item preset 1, 2, and 3. Because for whatever reason, item preset 1 is not the first one. It starts 0 to 3, which is very strange. And that's kind of the very basics of it. You can change it here. There are hundreds of things you can change. You can do um, uh, the medic radar, which is kind of a kind of cheatsy doodly thing you can do where the medic where it'll show you every we want on your team and it, be, it can be used to detect spies and stuff like that you can do funny things for the the engineer and for the heavy you can do custom configs for all of the classes in tf2 it's just very important that whenever you make anything for say the heavy uh, and make uh, make sure that you put in the um the the exact space reset here otherwise it will constantly work and then whatever you do in one of these custom classes you need to undo in this reset folder, this reset.cfg folder. So bound mouse to back to attack to. Otherwise, when you play any other classes, say you've got mouse to bound to do something funny, then it'll do that across all the other classes unless you have that reset. And it's also worth noting as well, you need to put that exact reset at the very, very beginning of all of this. It has to be before any of this information. So yeah very very simple i just thought i'd i'd kind of get that underway because I've, I've been trying to <laughs> been trying to figure a way of doing this where people would understand because i've been trying to find out a way of doing it where people would understand and uh and yeah and this is also something else that i tried because i was having some issues uh, essentially i copied my config and i uh, i made a i just went and i made a copy and then i just named it auto exec it's already a cfg file uh, just because of the way the filing system works. You may need to do this, you may not. Your mileage may vary. Configs are a very funny thing, and there's lots of places like uh, Game Banana where you can download configs that don't really work because the whole filing infrastructure isn't kind of in yet. But yeah, very, very simple guide how to make a custom config. Like I say, it, you just, just it takes literally seconds just to make the folder. You know, go in there file save as what what class haven't i done yet demo man i've not played demo man with a config yet tfg all file save close this don't need this anymore so i can get rid of it do it right <clears throat> and if i go up demo man is here and i can write about whatever i want with uh the demo man underneath here exec reset and then i can make all sorts of custom things under here if i really wanted to you'd have to find whatever commands you're wanting to change like i say there is almost an endless possibility of what you could do with your tf2 classes uh you can have <laughs> some people have some mental controls that i cannot get my head around when i was trying others so it's got to be a personal thing in follow-up videos i'll come through with some more popular things that people have done with their um config files so you can give them a go if you want as well i'll be using github uh, and releasing all this information over the next week so it's easier to get hold of like i said earlier on if you have any issues go to my discord we have a tf2 help section where hopefully we'll be able to get you sorted out i have been jay caliber please rate comment and subscribe and i will catch you in the next tf2 video links are in the description below adios Thank you.